In this video, you'll see how to create a private offer for a software purchase transaction in AWS Marketplace. With this feature, you can negotiate custom prices and end-user license agreement terms with buyers, send offers to specific AWS accounts, and offer upgrades and renewals on Software as a Service, or SaaS, contracts. We'll start out logged in as a seller. Let's navigate to AWS Marketplace to create our offer. Here are all of the existing offers that we've created in the past. Let's create a new one. As a seller, we have a curated catalog of products representing our company already preloaded. For the purposes of this example, let's create an offer for Product 1. Next, we'll specify the buyer's account ID. This will create a customized link that sends the buyer to their portal where they can access the private offer. The buyer must have the proper credentials to log in to the specified account to make use of the link. Let's specify the contents of the private offer. We can customize the offer name that will be displayed to the buyer. Next, we'll specify how long the buyers can use the dimensions in this offer. Product dimensions are the components of the software, such as features, services, and usage amounts. For our purposes, we'll select a preloaded dimension, allow customers to select the quantity, and designate the price. We also have the ability to select $0 pricing, as well as to provide details for service agreements. In this case, we'll specify that this offer is not a renewal and give it an expiration date. Now we can review and create the offer. Once an offer is created, you can view its details at any time. Here we can see how the offer will look from the customer's perspective. Let's copy the offer URL so we can email it to the buyer. Here's an example of the email the buyer will receive with a link to our customized offer. Now let's switch to the perspective of the buyer admin who has received the email, followed the link, and logged in to review the offer. In this case, the buyer will accept the offer. First, the buyer will specify a quantity. Notice that the total contract price has increased. Once everything is in order, the buyer can create a contract. Once the buyer subscribes, they are billed upfront for the amount that they subscribed to. If the product includes consumption, they will be billed for any additional usage. AWS does not provision SaaS products to buyers, so buyers must register the SaaS product on the seller's website after finishing their subscription in the AWS Marketplace. Here's an example of a registration process that a buyer might need to complete for a SaaS product. You've just seen how to create a private offer for a software purchase transaction in AWS Marketplace. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.